Welcome to part two. I'll put a link to part one somewhere on the screen, wherever YouTube decides to put them. Top, left, bottom, right, wherever. Taking the board out just to inspect the components on the board. the motor taking the background the timing motor a couple little snaps and cracks from the uh, drop down arm but it doesn't snap back up as it did inside the refrigerator indicating it's going the correct direction and goes nice and smooth and you see those little fingers ice cube would have dropped out into your bucket by now Now it's on its side right here, but it's going the wrong direction. You see the fingers coming out of the uh, assembly the wrong way. The arm drops down as usual. There's a little magnet on that sprocket down there. And the magnet on the arm up in the top left. Corresponding to the sensors on the board. And there's the snap indicating the fingers are rotating the wrong direction, so the motor is reversed for some reason. This is that little circuit board that uh, has the two sensors on there and that test switch. Sensor number one at the bottom is the sensor that detects the magnet on the gear next to the timing motor, telling the uh, program that the fingers are not inside the ice cube tray, so it's okay to add water and freeze. Sensor number two at the top is next to that test switch you can access from the side. And that sensor is the one that uh, senses if the magnet on the drop-down arm is in contact with it, in proximity, or not. Well, here's that uh, motor found the specs for online. According to this, it says reversible, which obviously it can do that. So this motor uh, it ranges from different prices depending on where you get it. But just for a few dollars more, you can get the whole assembly. So I don't think it's worth having to cut three wires and replace them. When you can just replace the whole assembly, be done with it. Now at this point you're wondering, did I fix it? I didn't show how to fix it, but it seems to be working in the video. So the problem was we've had a few power outages, flickering power going off and on real quick. So I decided just to put the unit back in there and reset the refrigerator. Now this is how I reset my refrigerator. Yours might be similar. If not, you can Google how to reset yours. First, unplug the refrigerator from the outlet. Give it like 30 seconds and then plug it back in. Wait for the display to boot back up. When you see this, press the top two buttons simultaneously as you'll see here. Could take about 10 seconds or so for the display to react. So be patient. Here's 
some bonus footage of me actually testing the circuit board and a little bit of motor checking the resistance. Thank you for watching.